What's going on everybody? This is Kurt Rice at Kurt Rice Baseball. How's everybody doing today? I'm gonna get right into it. Um, today I'm gonna be doing a video on 2019 what's in my baseball bag. So I um, hope you guys enjoy this. Um, uh, happy Jackie Robinson Day. Uh, it's about 2.20 in the morning. It's Tuesday morning here. So um, it's Tuesday morning, 2.20, 2.21 now. Um, like I said, um, one thing, I'm going to be doing a Patreon page. So um, I'm trying to get my, my page here to here. So any donations will be appreciated so I can get some equipment. That way I can get out on the field and show you guys some techniques and things as far as catching and hitting and things of that nature. Um, the top donator, I'll do, um, I'll do a prize and some one-on-one -on -one sessions on video. Um, I know that doesn't mean much. You know, a lot of people don't know me. But uh, those of you who don't know, I'm Kurt Rice. Uh, I've been playing ball since I was four. I had scholarships to go play ball, and I turned them down because my mom got sick with cancer at the time. So um, just letting y'all know um, the story. And, uh, she's fine now. She's a good woman, and I love my mother to death. Um, but, um, but, yeah, I'm trying to get my page way up here. So... Um, any donations will be appreciated. I'll open up a Patreon page. A buddy of mine told me about it. Um, like I said, a top donator, top couple donators, I'll send them a prize and uh, a couple of sessions with me online, uh, FaceTiming or whatnot. Uh, if you guys are having any trouble with catching techniques or anything, just you know, let me know. Uh, if anybody wants to donate and I haven't set up my page yet, leave me a comment below and I'll get those. I'll get that Patreon page set up. So, uh, I said, happy Jackie Robinson Day. Uh, the, I admire the man for what he went through, the courage, uh, the stuff he had to go through to uh, uh, do what he did in baseball. So, I admire you, Jackie Robinson, for that. Thumbs up. All right, 2019, what's in my baseball bag? Uh, first thing is first, uh, eye black. Uh, I carry this. Uh, this is Isoplac. Uh, it's really good stuff. It's expensive, but it's good. It wipes right off out of like Easton or anything that I've ever used. Um, but Ice Play, you can get it at Dick's or Academy or anything. Seven, eight bucks for it. Works really well. That's one thing. I also carry eye black stickers just in case I don't feel like wiping the smudge or I'm out and I have no other alternative. I use these eye black stickers. The Champros are really good. So, um, as y'all know, the eye black story about Babe Ruth and Farkas, about uh, the first eye black was created with a wine cork. You take a wine cork and you burn it, take a lighter or a match and you burn the end of it and let it burn till it's black or right in there, blow it off. And then that's where your first eye black came from. It helps the, the glare from your cheekbones getting in your eyes and that way you're not doing this the whole time, which I have to use it. So I know how it is. I'm a blue eyed player, <laughs> not a brown eyed player. So my eyes are really sensitive to light. So I have to wear Oakley's, eye black. So, and I even have a uh, on my um, catcher's mask, um, not my hockey style, but my, my regular mask, I have a visor. So there's that, here's the wrist guard that I've been aiming to put on and I haven't done it yet because I've been so busy. My kid has been sick. I've been sick with a flu about a couple weeks ago. So uh, I, gotta, I gotta lace this on. This is the uh, wrist guard, the pro lace uh, on wrist guard for your all-star. It just, it just loops around your wrist where it holds your um, mitt on. You just slide it on and there you go. And it, your mitt hangs off of here. I just ain't laced it on yet. So um, there is that. All right. Oh, one thing I do keep in my bag is a is a rule book. Okay. Uh, I like I like keeping a rule book just to you know uh, if I'm if I'm not playing that game or whatnot in the league I play. Um, 
you know, something happens, I can, I can flip through the rule book while these guys are playing and say, hey, whoa, oh, you, you didn't do something right here. Um, I think the only, the only rule that uh, we have in force is when we're getting a uh, double play, you get forced out at second. The runner has to veer off instead of sliding or trying to break up a double play. I think that's one of the rules that they instate in this league because we're not getting paid to uh, play in this league. So that's that. I keep a, a hand grip. You're going to think it's weird, but this is after I stretch. This is to warm up my forearm so I can, you know, grip the ball a little better, catch it a little better, squeeze it a little better, like squeezing a glove. If I have my glove on, you know. Uh, it's just a little hand grip. You get it at Walmart for about six bucks. So I keep one of those in my bag to just kind of warm up my forearm. Um, a mint mallet. I carry a mint mallet just in case a new guy comes to practice and he needs to break in a ball glove or something. I recommend these highly. These are really good. That's a Rawlings one. Got that at Dick's. Uh, a weighted ball. I carry it's a Skills weighted ball. This is a 12 ounce weighted ball. I'll throw with this and after I stretch. I'll throw with this. And then when you get a regular ball, you're, you're pretty much slinging that regular ball. This helps. I want, don't throw this with long distance. This is, it's almost like, it's a waterlogged ball pretty much, to, in, in my opinion. Uh, it's a weighted ball. Don't throw this long distances. You'll tear your rotator or something. Just throw it short distances. And then when you get that, when you get that, that league ball that you're supposed to be playing with, guess what? It makes it feel really light. So there's that. Let's set that down. Uh, sunflower seeds. I carry these on a regular basis. Right here, uh, Davis Jumbo Sunflower Seeds, a spicy queso. These are limited editions. Got uh, got Javier Baez on it, and on the back, uh, Sunflower Seeds. I get big, uh, Bigs or Davids. Uh, these are really good spicy queso, and they're not that spicy. Period. I can't eat a lot of spicy stuff. So, um, but these are. I keep sunflower seeds in my bag. Of course, I don't see any ball player that wouldn't. Um, it's not important. I carry um, a couple of uh, regular um, under catcher's gloves, I call them. <laughs> kind of a stupid name. I'll carry a palm guard. I got actually two of these. That way, you know, I get a guy that's humming it in there. Um, it doesn't hurt to sting my hand. And here's another one. Here's Here's... Here's the note one I'm gonna do uh, play with this year because it's got this, the padding here, and the two fingers. Uh, it's just a palm guard there. I have an all-star one as well. And um, I think I mentioned that in one of my videos. Um, my catcher's gear video, I believe. So, I just bought this, a finger impact sleeve. So it just it just slides over your finger and prevents it you know from stinging when you have a guy that's slinging it pretty hard. Uh, All Star makes it finger impact sleeve. There you go. I got that at Play It Against Sports. Okay, there's that. Uh, I have um, my All Star uh, sweatbands. I put one on my right arm, my throwing arm. The way if I have sweat running down, it doesn't run down on my hand and make it slippery. Uh, so I always always wear one on my right arm, like my throwing arm, just for the simple fact that if sweat's running down, I don't want to get in my hand and make it sweaty. I can just, uh, it runs down. And then you can just, you know, use it to wipe your forehead and stuff off with. And yes, you, I do wear some, so. Uh, but these are new, so I haven't worn them yet. And I got me an all-star um, compression band. It's, it's adjustable, so you can put it as tight as you want. Um, I got some uh, athletic tape for my catcher's gear just in case one of the bands come loose. I just keep that with me. Sorry, I'm over rattling. I have, a, I have a Rawlings infielder's glove, a trapeze infielder's glove. I do play some second base, so there's that. I just got this. 
Um, no, I don't have haven't done a review on it. It's a uh, eleven and three quarters all leather shell. Um, about a fifty dollar glove there. I bought it at Academy. Uh, real nice glove. Real nice in filters glove. Okay. My batting gloves were royal blue this year. Royal blue and orange, basically New York Mets colors. I thought it was gonna be red, white, and blue, but it's all good. My catcher's gear matches. I got me some Franklin chrome batting gloves. And then I have the power straps, chrome batting gloves, which the power straps are cool because I don't have to adjust them a lot, you know, in and out. You see a lot of guys that, that adjust them in and out of the batter's box. I have my catcher's mitt, which I'm breaking in pretty well. There it is. It's just a uh, MVP Series 30, CM3030. This is not the expensive one. Uh, I plan on getting that real soon, the $300 one. So that way it's almost $400. Uh, but this will do for now. Um, it's just a downgraded model of the, of the Pro Series. There's that. I also have a Rollins Mint. This is a RTD 20. Um, and it's it's really comfortable, believe it or not. Uh, it's really, really comfortable. Um, it doesn't have the finger slot here like the All-Star does. Um, but it's, it's, it's a fairly good mint. It's a Rollins Mint. I've had it for not even half the year. So, um, you know, I'll be using it some, not a whole lot, like my all-star mint. That's a little bit, it, that's a little bit more comfortable. This is all leather. I mean, it's all just solid, solid leather. That's, you know, tan high leather, I think. So, um, Japanese leather. So this is a little bit harder on the hand, stuff like that. Okay. Um, <laughs> I have something that y'all are gonna absolutely enjoy. Boom, big league chew, man, I'm telling you. I grew up on this stuff. My dad would stop before every ball game and get me and my brother a pack of this a piece. And big league chew's been around a long time. I'm 39 years old and it's been around a long time, guys, and kids. So um, I get this at Five Below. If you have a Five Below store, they sell it. They sell it there for a buck twenty-nine, or Dicks, or Academy carries it as well. Uh, they have watermelon, watermelon grape, sour apple, and um, there's the original. And they make cotton candy and a blueberry one, which I don't have. They were sold out. So, big leaf chew. I like to carry gum. My cleats. Uh, I've done. I have done um, reviews on these, so you can see them. Yeah, they're a little dirty. Been playing, getting getting dirty. These are my uh, Nike custom cleats. Uh, you can see it in my video, uh, in one of my videos. And I have my New Balance, my New Balance custom cleats here. Uh, the shoelaces I got off eBay to match my end color, the uh, the end. So I hope they match okay. They're kind of, I hope they're not girly looking, but, <laughs> but you know, it's okay. But I, th I think they match pretty well. Um, it's got my name on the inside, Rice. And then uh, there's my name right there. I did a review on those as well, I think. Uh, the Nike ones has them on the front. As you can see there, they're stitched in, which is really cool. And I'm gonna be honest, folks, the Nikes are a lot cheaper. I got these for $125 custom made. So this is my custom colors that I did make, the red, orange, and I had the gold um, Nike symbol. Like I said, you can see it uh, in, on my page, okay? My batting helmet, I got an Easton helmet. I'm gonna have to get me a, a royal blue one uh, pretty soon, but this is the one I wore last year. Uh, yes, I did install that myself the this piece right here i installed that myself uh which is i think it's a good thing to have so yeah so um there's my batting helmet it's an eastern one i got that at academy <clears throat> let's see here sorry folks i'm having to reach over uh, i got my custom let's see 
Yes, these are my custom Oakley sunglasses. Yes, Oakley does make custom baseball sunglasses. There they are. Gotta have my sunglasses, folks. I'm a blue-eyed player. <laughs> I'm like this all the time. So I have to wear eye black and my sunglasses. And these have the prism infield lens on it just because I'm a catcher. And it also, I don't know if you can see it, it has my name right there on the et etched in right there. As you can see it, it's pretty cool. They can etch your name in on it. They give you a, a nice little, uh, a little thing to go with it. Custom. I got electric blue and you know red, so I think they look pretty cool. Put those back in there. Those ran about. I can't remember. Um, I can't remember how much they ran, but they were they were pretty expensive. Uh, these are the ones I'm going to be wearing the most. These are not custom, but I really love the colors of these. And these are the colors of our teams. These are the the, co the uh, custom colors, right? not, not the custom colors, but the colors are blue, kind of purplish tint. I really love these. I mean, uh, I think Baez wears these. As a matter of fact, uh, Baez wears these. Uh, you'll see a lot of guys that wear Oakleys. A lot of guys in the field just just because of the simple fact they're pretty much high definition sunglasses and a lot of people are like oh they're just they're just a rip off well to me no they're not because i can tell the difference when i go to regular sunglasses and oakley's you can just tell the quality difference and stuff and the frames don't if you wear them with a hat and then you take your hat off say like you got a haircut they they fit right to your head they don't loosen up or anything which is cool um I got my all-star uh, catcher skull cap. It is in a, it is a, um, what do you want? Well, uh, universal, it's a universal. It goes from six and seven eighths to seven and seven eighths. So if you wear that hat size, there you go. Okay. This is my traditional catcher's mask. Okay. That's my traditional one. Can't wait to use it. Even though we're blue this year, but it's all good. Blue and red mixed together good. There's my visor I was telling you about. Okay, do that. Right. I have my hockey style mask, which I absolutely love. I love this one. It is so comfortable. Yes, it is. As an all-star, the padding, all the padding comes out around this whole thing. The padding all around this thing comes out. So if you need to wash it, the padding from that comes out. This and the chin strap, it all comes out so you can wash it. So it's pretty cool. Um, if I'm in a hurry, I just take, some, take a disinfectant wipe and wipe it off with. Slide that back in there. Okay. Mm -hmm. I have my shin guards for this year. It's my all-star gear. You can see, you can see the um, review on them on my video below. Okay. I have my <laughs> my cups and those. I ain't gonna show you that. <laughs> but please, if you're catching, wear a cup. Don't don't uh, be like Yadier Molina last year who wasn't wearing one <laughs> and got hit. You know where it hurts. Please wear a cup. And I have my chest protector. My chest protector here with my shoulder and my crotch um, plate there. And yes, we have been practicing, so. Um, I'm using my old gear until the season starts. Last but not least, my baseball bats. Have a Rawlings hard ash. Okay, there it is. I taped it up with a, a Vulcan American flag. I got a cup. Matter of fact, uh, three of these I'm gonna show you have the same wrap on it. Got a Louisville Slugger, uh, genuine maple. You can tell where I've been. We've been swinging the bat with them. <laughs> uh, swinging with them. There's that. And I have 
Global Slugger Ash Series. It's an Ash Bat. Okay, there's the grip on it. I do the grips myself. And I do I do relace gloves, in case nobody knows. I relace gloves, I have business cards. Uh, I don't have them on me right now. If you're interested, hit me up. Uh, I laced up a guy. I laced up a, a, a single A player. I did one of his catcher's mitts and he absolutely loved it. So um, yeah, he said he would spread the word. So matter of fact, I got a phone call the other day from another single A player on the same team who wanted uh, his catcher's mitt done the same way. Uh, I think it was the second stringer or, or I can't remember. But he he was he was an infielder, but his, se his second position was catcher. So uh, here's my Rawlings bat, another Rawlings bat. Uh, this grip, uh, I liked it on this one. Kind of fancy looking. This is a lizard skins wrap. So, but that's it. Um, that's gonna do it for today. Um, that's what's in my baseball bag, 2019. Sorry I didn't get a big view. I know there's some people that do big views, but. Um, um, you know, I'm not trying to show you my whole house and <laughs> stuff like that. So, um, but here's, here's my bag here. I got a bag on the way, my old star bag here. Um, uh, I got, a, I got a bag coming with, with bat space, everything I can put in it. So, um, again, I'll get that Patreon page set up. If anybody wants to donate, please let me know. Um, um, donations be appreciated and, and we can work some things out I'll send like I said the highest patreon a, a gift uh, a prize and then you know the top couple two or three uh, we'll do some one-on-one -on -one videos uh, on your catching uh, whatever you're having trouble with as far as catching and hitting I, I, I can I can help you on that stuff so God bless everybody. Um, hope you have a great morning on your commute to work. Those of you that, um, those of you that have a long drive to work, please be safe. Uh, God bless you. And I'll be doing some videos outside pretty soon of, of catcher techniques and stuff like that. Stuff that's helped me through my years of catching. So and hitting as well. So um, God bless you. And anybody who wants to donate, please let me know. God bless you. Thank you.